So, once you have prioritized your needs, and you know your onions, and you know all that it takes, and it's not about when they come to a meeting, you are not talking to them about oh, 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 organize your meeting, make it interesting. Invite doctors, oh, what people are wearing on, oh, I come on it, what she can never, just as the CDC has organized there. You have to spend your money and be spent. If your people know that you are first from them, they will follow you. So the role of the CDA is in your hands. The role that you want to hear is what I've told you, it is you that will do those things. CDA that is functional, Kishepe, if you know you, that name, no long pay butter, no one will have more than you. And it is, they are headed by the CDA chairman. So I want you to be a reawakening chairman. That was the message to leaders of about 150 community development associations in the Korodu West local council development area of Lagos State. It's a one day leadership training program put together by the Community Development Committee in conjunction with the Ikorodu West Local Council Development Area. So don't think that one person in leadership will find to challenge you. No, all of us are leaders. All of us need to be accountable. So if we are not accountable, our organization will fail. It's a matter of time. And the God not being fail our portion. Amen. With the theme, Developing a Sustainable Community Through Effective Leadership, speakers admonished community leaders and stakeholders on time management, community trust, and leadership quality skills. We, so, look at the strength. The people that you might of first time as being with in your community too, they want some inherent strength in them. No matter if you meet next in one, strength in it. When you welcome them on board, then look at opportunities that lies around. Like I talked about the CRF, the self in the sex. And it's about me, I want the MTM base, the LAP code, the C, the MTM. Yes. Assess them. Don't ask for money. You need to ask what you want to do. And you see one thing about this achievement. Once you achieve one, the propensity to achieve one will be there. And you see the people that follow you. They want to be lords. I know many of us are landlords in our, our various places. You might want to go to the landlord, the quality of the shepherd. They are out of idea of money, let me know. Please. And yeah, first we are one. You got the young leg for markets, for schools. They might take a tap on. They might take a tap on. They might take a tap on. So your major, major uh, uh, responsibility, roles, as CTA, lies in the escrow of the CTA. Time management is that is the way you arrange your activity in such a way that in a very short period you are able to achieve greatness. Like the, our guest speaker have said, you have just two years as a leader of the community. With these two, these two years, how can you manage it effectively? That you are going to achieve so much result. Same way it affects you as an individual, it will also affect your community as a leader. It depends on the way you are able to make good use of your time. And that is what makes the difference between the successful people and the unsuccessful ones. What are the time wasters? Procrastination. I'm now the chairman, you are enjoying being called chair, chair. They say, they say you should wake up. You are chairman, the first meeting. You discuss about the last chairman. The second meeting, you start an argument about who should undo a road project. Procrastinate, okay, let's postpone it. Oh, ah, no, we have so many things. This is drainage. This is this. You start by postponing. When you start postponing event every time, that is what is called procrastination. You are not decisive about what to do. You must take a step forward. If you don't take action, you will never do it. Participants in turns engage resource persons on matters relating to corporate social responsibility, self-help projects, and community relations. This training is an eye-opener for any leader that 
has something offered or has something to offer to the community. It's an eye opener. Personally, me, it has improved me that I have to do when uh, to be more accountable to my community. It has opened the eyes that not only the collecting deals from the members of the community, you can actually tax, you can actually write the government, the, uh, the uh, corporate organizations in the community on the light. And it actually opens that there is a competition that you can actually be having a competition for growing the community. And besides, it, I learned something that when you have used uh, the, uh, implementing any project in the community, you need to look for the, uh, the impact of the community. Does the community need that thing? Is there at the right time? And can you do it before you can actually venture into any project in the community? It we have a great impact in the life of my people when I go back to them. It really has a great impact in me because there are so many things that we did not know that we have been doing, you know, in our CDA that we did not know. That it's, I mean, this leadership training, it really opened our eyes to so many things. So by the time I will go back home, you know, I will be able to relate to them all what we have learned here. So I really thank God for this leadership training. The leadership of Ikorodu West Local Council lauded the efforts of the CDC for putting up such an event. The leadership of the CDC, they are people of a worthy character. They know what they are doing, they have their focus, and they know how to achieve their set objectives and goals. Uh, for my assessment, and from the support of the local government, I know that uh, whatever they are going to embark on will surely be uh, supported by the local government. So the sky is their, their limit and in the achievement of their goals. It's good to develop our environment, but we must have to do impact assessment of our development so that it will not affect that environment negatively. Whatever we want to do is something we can start, is something we can finish. It's not, some, it's not a project we can abandon, every time we abandon it to create a monster for that community. So we have to look at it critically. It's not that some other people are doing it, and we have to do it. Do we have the financial muscle to do it? Did the people, are they ready to do it? Are they ready with us? So, and what is the need of that people? It's not the need of the executive, it's the need of the people that matters. And that's what should be our watchword. Be a community leader, you have to learn how to handle about money, about the people, even to interact, you have to learn because they are, we are from various village, city. As you see us now, you see the CDs. We are doing small, small what we can do in our area, in our streets, so that before we call the, even the council, local governments, if it's about, let's say, 70% or 60% of our needs, we do it ourselves. So we call for the government to help. Organizers stated the need to put together the training in line with Governor Babajide Olushola Sonwolu's themes agenda for a greater Lagos. The governor is doing very well. He has been very supportive of the CDA. If you go around the entire Lagos state, let me take an example, my own Eko do not. You will see one or two projects, the councillor project, the community project, and then the interventions also coming from the, from the governor. And it's a plus to the government. And uh, we are expecting more. And especially when you look at the big three projects that are doing in the Korodo. The, the Shawo Road is ongoing. The Jede Road is ongoing. Egbe Road is ongoing. Obasi Kumade Road is also ongoing. And the contractors are working all the time. By the time all these projects are finished, maybe by uh, first quarters of uh, next year, we have a fee full of traffic uh, throughout uh, Ikorodu. And uh, I'm also sure the, re the modeling of Ikorodu roundabout will also bring about a positive change and positive development for the people of Ikorodu. Professor Wolu has been treating the CDC very well. He's been dealing with us very well. Whatever problem we have, he has been solving it. So whatever the problem we presented to him, he normally deals with us very well. So he's a very good governor. He's an active governor when it comes to the matter of community development. There is something I've seen personally concerning our governor. He's not a noisemaker. He's just achieving that job, picking it one after the other. Recently, 
let me give you a typical example. Ishawuro construction started 2016 with, with a flag of the same way with Agege Pen Cinema. We met him at the campaign ground when he was campaigning at Ikorodu and he promised us that that road is not going to be abandoned. And he stepped up the game. And I can tell you that the speed of the work has really increased now after the commissioning of the Pen Cinema. So the governor is really working to his word without making noise. And that is the, the, an exemplary leadership that we're preaching. Leadership with quality that have conscience and that believe that making the people grow and impacting on them is what makes the governance. This road now is a road that I've been planning since like over like 20, 20, 25 years because this was my secondary school. So I can say it was getting bad, bad, bad. Like the whole community have been complaining that they want improvement in this road. There. But when the government now gave us a chance to choose a road and I chose this place, even people didn't believe that they're going to do interlocking. And let me quote the word of the proprietress of Legacy High School. She said, the road is like a standard road on the island. Road infrastructure is critical to economic development of any state and nation. While it supports personal well-being, it also plays a vital role as a capital input into production and wealth generation. These and many more are what members of Sony Olokpa Community Development Association have started enjoying since the road on Fagbola Street was constructed. This street uh, is called Fagbola Street. It's a link road between Olufemi Ojo and Sele Bus Stop. That is an access road to Inlola that will link you back to Shobo Bus Stop. So the major idea behind this road, me picking this road as my project from the state government is it's going to be an easy access to link the express either from the back or the front. And to help reduce traffic congestion anytime there's traffic on the major road. They started using it since like January. I can say officially that it has really helped reduce traffic congestion on the express. Like it's an access road for you to either go to Akwonjo Road or back to Shasha Road. <laughs> Members of the community describe the state of the road and their experience before it was constructed. When I came here, the road was too bad. But this time around, we thank the government for what they have done. They have done a good job. And we're all happy for the good job done. When it was in bad state, mostly we see Okada accidents here and holdups all the time. But this time, since they did the job, the road has been very beautiful. We appreciate it and people have been moving smoothly here. I've been operating on this road more than 20 years. Even when I came, the road was so bad. Even there are some lot of vehicles that used to break down the road because of the pothole. But today, the thing has changed to a better place. As a transporter, when you are moving on the road with a vehicle or a Kada, Kete Marwa, you know, the gallop will not allow the thing to move slowly. Uh, that is, I experienced a part, uh, something that very time. When we first came in, we are just, we were just developing this area. This area was a new site then, but now we are a full city, as you can see. All the houses are already built, and development is okay here. This road is an alternate to Shasha Main Road. Uh, when I came here, a lot of potholes did not touch the road for a very long time. Since they, uh, since they tied this road over 25, 30 years ago, the road was bad, totally bad. But you could see the difference today. Uh, we thank the government of Lagos State. The comment on the efficiency and quality of work done on the road, which is evident. I was here when they started the work. 
what I have in mind that they have started this so I don't know how long they want to complete it. To, the, to my own surprise, on that three months, everything was done. People were very happy. Even myself here that is talking to you, I'm very happy. The system they used to operate this road with the time, that is what makes me to be very, very happy. Because I could not expect it. I appreciate Governor of Lagos State, I appreciate the, the, the people, the supervisor, especially the engineer that did this work. The CDA commended the state government for giving them a befitting road. We saw people coming to measure roads, surveying, doing this, doing that. We thought maybe something good is coming to us. But we thank this uh, regime that as, as at now we can be proud of the people in government, in this local government at least and Lagos State generally. Because the road now, as you can see, if you were here about six months ago, you won't know anywhere again. I traveled, when I came, I was just looking, where is my house? So the improvement is great, and we thank the government. About the speed bumps, I specifically begged the contractors to make that for us. Because I could remember the contractor said that was not even in their brief. But when I explained to him that, actually, you know, this place is more like business and residential. And anywhere you have residential, you need speed bumps. And we have schools, we have kids that are coming from the others, either from the Express or Nakonjo Road or coming from Shasha. Anywhere you know where kids ply, we need speed breaker. Because you know the way some Nigerian drivers drive. So I think that will reduce accident or any casualty. The quality of the job is very nice. The interlock is very nice for the roads. Unlike uh, the former part that was on it that was scraping all the time but this time the interlock is very beautiful on the road we appreciate it it's a very good job done i witnessed some other road where there is no bound you know school children they used to pass even there are some people that are trekking so this the, some driver would like to run speeds but because of this bond on the road it made them to slow down slow down, accelerate a little bit. So we make everybody to walk and move freely on the road. You can see everybody now. Even the cars are moving very well. There was a shop, all this shop you have seen before. There was no business. After the road has been repaired, you can see the shop, the market is moving. People are coming here to patronize them. The benefit is quite many, especially the economy here is now springing up. As you can see, people are putting, are erecting small shops everywhere. Where before there were, this place before, we were, there were planting trees. But now everything is gone. We are developing economically, and we are very grateful that all the, when the uh, dry season was around, all the, the dust is now gone. No dust again. We used to mop, we used to clean about three times in a day, but now it's reduced. I want to use this opportunity to thank the engineers that really worked on this road because after they finished constructing the drainage, they really helped the shops to package everywhere so it looks so neat. I think the, the, the area is not even, you can see, or like this place before, you don't see people, it's now turning to a business hub now, which I think with time, in future, we are going to get more business stuffs around this place too. It put more life. More and more customers would like to visit our street because uh, the road is, is, is good. Uh, unlike before, whereby we had that problem of uh, potholes. Now they even prefer our street than the main Shasha road. For whom much is given, much is expected. As the people of Sani Alopa CDA thank Mr. Governor for fixing their road, they promise to take ownership of the infrastructure to ensure it stands the test of time. I want to thank uh, Governor uh, Songulu for what God is using to do in Lagos City. Not at most so alone because it all spread across all the city. We want to really appreciate him to allow the world to get to the common people, to feed the impact of government at a local level. So he had done very well on that area, and I encourage him to continue on that level. I feel very, very great 
I still thank the state governor because even people in the neighborhood, were not, most of them didn't believe the road would be so fast because that was when we had the case of NSAS. Immediately after the NSAS, the contractors were fast and they delivered according to time. People were even saying in the neighborhood that so if government can do a road within two months and this standard, so all thanks is still to the state governor. God bless Mr. Baba Jide Sonwolu because this project, especially about this road, my community people are very, very happy. He did this for us. I will say God bless him. My advice to the community that individuals that own property or doing business here should help the government of Lagos State to maintain this road. They should contribute their time on set maintenance. My advice to them that we should join hand together with the government, the local government, and also the CDC to help to maintain. That is cleaning, you know, draining, if that is possible, because uh, we had heavy rain yesterday, and you could see, as if there was no any rain here. So the quality of the road they gave us actually is fantastic. Uh, we thank the government of Lagos State. We appreciate the government, especially the able governor. We like him. If we ask that, we'll be aspiring for this road a long time ago. They said that anytime they are going to do it, they will do it well, and they fulfill their promise. So I'm very grateful to them, and I beg God, I pray for them that may God continue to be with them and bless them. We we'll continue educating them. You know, when you see something, you have to say something, and not only say something, you have to do it fast. Anywhere I go, especially on this middle, as I've come here today and I've told them, you can't do this, you have to encourage government to do more. You have to encourage government to come to your system, to come and perform. But if what they are doing, you are spoiling it, it is not encourage them. So it is our duty to continue educating people, and I pray the Almighty God will put it into their heart to listen so that we will get more reward of uh, democracy. The government has done their part, so I think the Landlord Association and the people of the community now should now take more responsibility. That's like to avoid abandon, uh, to avoid people just parking and leaving their vehicles on the road. Like people not living in the community coming here to park, turning the road to car park, or people doing mechanic on the road. No, with the oil and everything will spoil. So we will do our best, which I know by the grace of God we will try and maintain the road. In the present dispensation, what they say they are going to do, they are going to do it. And uh, we look towards them coming to actualize it. And today we are very happy. We are more than grateful to God and to the people and government of the Lagos State that they came, they actualized their promise and they make it very, very solid. But thank God that the government and people of Lagos State and the entire CDC were able to single out this our road and give us a befitting uh, one in town, you know, road which will last a lifetime.